So come with me as I go down a rabbit hole today learning about paper. Not literally down a rabbit hole, but a bit like going down a rabbit hole where it branches off into all sorts of different directions, a bit of a maze, a bit of a labyrinth of different tunnels and directions, and you never quite know where you're going to come up. And that's what I found when I was learning about paper, that I'm never quite sure where the next thing was going to take me. But I hope I'll be able to bring you up out of the rabbit hole, knowing a little bit more about paper. So how environmentally friendly is paper? Not all paper comes from the paper bark of a paper bark tree like this one. Paper has quite a history. Some of the first papers were made from papyrus reeds on the banks of the Nile River. And the reeds were crisscrossed together and stuck together by some of their own resin. And then people were able to draw or write on papyrus paper. So paper is a fibrous material. It comes from plant matter. And most of the plant matter it comes from are these things here, trees. Not just really good trees, often the good parts of the trees are used for timber, for making houses and furniture, tables, windows, chairs, walls, chopping boards, bookcases, toy boxes, picture frames, architrave, furniture, and even doors. But it's often the scraps of the tree, the branches that aren't being used for anything else, it's often those scraps which get mulched up into wood chips which end up as bits of paper. But not all trees are good and straight and useful for timber. Some are twisted and bent and not much good and those sometimes whole trees end up as chips and end up being that paste which we make paper. So we have to ask ourselves that question, is losing whole trees like this to become paper and paper products, is that an environmentally friendly decision and environmentally certainly makes you think that perhaps we shouldn't be wasting paper unnecessarily, doesn't it? Obviously we do need some paper to write on and to use in schools and homes and offices and things. But we've got to make sure that we make responsible decisions about the amount of paper that we use. Now paper doesn't just have to be made from trees. It can be made from things like straw, such as these dead bits. And our country produces a lot of straw in its wheat and grain crops, which could be used for making paper. And perhaps that would be a more environmentally responsible way of making paper.